Yo ho hello! Welcome aboard Skellywags! It's me, Roger Riptide, Skipper of the Last Resort, and today we are playing Slay the Spire! A deck building roguelike! Uh, I've already got my deck built here on the Last Resort, but I always do enjoy a bit of a card game. I, or at least I have a little bit of experience with it. Uh, I played Hearthstone back in the day and collected some other cards and some other things not worth mentioning. So, I don't have that much experience, but I did enjoy the little bit that I played of it. Uh, I, I suppose... Um... Dicey Dungeons that we played at the start of the year, that's kind of a deck-building game as well. Even though some of the characters were more card-like than others, others were more dice-like, um, but yeah, I also enjoy a good roguelike, so this should be a recipe for a good time, I think. Uh, and I felt like playing it. I, I know we've still got Disco Elysium to get back to, and I, I will. I, because, I, I don't know, I'm in a weird spot, and maybe you can relate to this feeling with games, but where you are interested in seeing how it's going, but sometimes it just feels a little bit, even though it's a game, and you know it's a game, it feels a little bit like work to get through it, and it's not work, it's playing a game, but I think, I don't know if it's the stress of doing something wrong, or having to restart, um... But just something causes a hesitation of diving back into it. Um, but I will. I'll, I'll figure it out, and we'll keep playing that eventually. But I thought, you know, we've still got a couple days left of October, and I don't know if this is exactly a Halloween aesthetic, but it seems like a kind of m minorly spooky aesthetic. It's got skulls and maybe zombies and monster killing, so... I think it counts. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get right into it. As long as the zombies don't run, then, then it's a different kind of zombie movie. More of a thriller than a well, Thriller. Thriller Zombies. Michael Jackson, that's definitely Halloween. Okay, uh, let's go for the first empty slot. My name is... let's go... Oh, no, we've got a full 30 slots. I could do the full Roger. Riptide. Then it's fantasy, not reality. Confirm. Confirm. Yes. Are there are there real zombies I have to worry about? Besides well, I'm not a zombie. I don't have any flesh. Um, everybody knows zombies have to have flesh. Should I check the settings? Um, that all looks good. Sure. Going to trust default positions on most of this. Do I want bigger text? Let's see what that looks like. Oh, you have to restart the game. Then never mind. Uh, credits and inputs. Well, I'm assuming it'll teach me all that. Okay. After the first few, you'll want to turn on fast mode. Okay. Good to know. Standard, let's embark on a quest. 
Oh, the Ironclad. That's one of the skins I got in Dead Cells. You're from this game. Naruhodo. The remaining soldier of the Ironclad sold his soul to harness demonic energies. He has burning blood, so at the end of combat, he heals for 6 health. 5 unlocks remaining. Oh, but that's unlocks for something about... Oh, unlocking new passives, maybe, as the Ironclad. I see. I need 300 of something. Well, the other characters are locked, so let's dive in. Embark! Let me know if the audio is okay. I, I wonder if the... I feel like it's a little low for me. But we'll see. Um, here's the legend of the different routes we can go. And I'm sure there's a best strategy. Either for optimizing opponents or question marks or a mix thereof. Um... Let's... It's more dynamic. What, playing fast mode is more dynamic? Is that what you're saying? Um... Legend, unknown... Oh, unknown! Okay, so it's not like a chance card or something, it's fully... Who knows what it could be? Well, uh, let's start in the middle. Defeat enemies by playing cards from your hand. Cards require energy to play once you're out and your turn. At the start of your turn... Hello! Chinote! Thank you for the follow! Welcome to the Skellywags! Welcome aboard! I am playing Slay the Spire for the first time. Are you familiar? Yeah, buddy! Slay them spires! Let's do it. The choices are dynamic. Oh shit, I have no HP. Let's me go to a question mark or a campfire. Oh, I see. So, your, your routing depends on how you're doing, rather than you always want to choose this or you always want to choose that. Gotcha. Uh, at the start of your turn, new cards are drawn and your energy is replenished. Yep. Play defensive cards to the game block when enemies are about to attack you. Block reduces incoming attack damage, but wears off at the start of your next turn. Understood? During your turn, you can observe an enemy's intent above them. If an enemy is intent on attacking you, be sure to gain some block. Understood. Okay, we have Strike to deal 6, Bash to deal 8, and Apply Vulnerable. You have Defend to gain Block, and Strike to deal 6. Currently, I'm guessing that 3 out of 3 is my energy, so I can Bash and then Defend. I think that might be good. Well... Vulnerable creatures take 50% more damage from attacks, but I wonder how long vulnerable lasts. If it's only for this turn, then it'd be best to pair that with other attacks afterward. Um. Well, we can find out. Let's do this. And then defend. And end the turn. Enemy turn. Okay. He is still vulnerable. So let's... He is blocking, but he also intends to attack. I think. So let's do strike. 
get the bonus damage from vulnerable, strike again, then block, end the turn. Nice. Oh, vulnerable wore off. Okay, so the two vulnerable, it fades at one stack at the end of each turn. So two means for two turns, he will be vulnerable. Tip, no more cards. If there are no cards to draw, your discard pile is shuffled into the draw pile. Okay, so you can't run out. Got it. Um, let's see, 18 health left. Let's bash again. And strike won't kill it. Best to defend. But yeah, since... Okay. It probably is best to wait. But here... I can finish him off. Probably is best to wait with the bash. Oh, what have we got? Spoils. 15 gold. A flex potion. Gains strength. But at the end of the turn... Only for that turn. Or... Add a card to your deck. I don't want to skip the rewards. Gold. I wonder if gold is something that sticks with me after a run is over, or if that's only a per run thing. Well, I think it was in the starter stats that I have 80 out of 80 health and I start with 99 gold, so I'm going to assume that it's a per run thing. Um... I'm going to add a card. I'm curious what the cards are. Rage. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain 3 block. Deal 9 damage. Oh, that's... That's good. I do like the sound of rage. Headbutt, deal 9 damage. Put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Okay. And Warcry, draw one, put a card from your hand onto the top of your draw pile. Okay, so you're kind of swapping a card from your hand to your deck. And you can only use that card once. Well, I think I'm going to go for Rage. Oh, and I get the others too. Nice. You want to answer all my rhetorical questions? Uh I I I think in Well, up to you. I'll I'll leave it to your discretion. If if it's not a big deal, I I don't think I've been asking any questions right so far that I wouldn't mind hearing the answer or I feel like the answer would spoil my experience. But we'll see. Uh, tips, potions. Drink or throw potions during combat. Potions stay with you between rooms. Got it. Proceed. Next up, we've got... The Unknown. Unless you're missing something big, you will be refraining. That's cool, too. You walk by an eerie statue holding several masks. Something behind you softly whispers. Stop. You swerve around to face the statue, which is now facing you. On closer inspection, it's not a statue, but a statuesque, gaunt man. Is he even breathing? Face. Let me touch. Let me trade. Okay. I can touch to lose health, but gain gold. I can trade which has a 50-50 chance of being a benefit or a loss. Um, a bane or a boon. I 
I kind of want to see what's up with these faces. Let's trade. For me? For me? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm. You see one of his arms flicker and your face is in its hand. Your face has been swapped. Nice face, nice face. Relics. Relics found throughout the spider grant unique bonuses and remain throughout your run. They can be found by defeating powerful foes or within chests. Or by trading my face for them. Okay, now I have the choice of another question mark or more enemies. If I go this way, it's two enemies and a question mark before a elite. If I go that way, it's the inverse or there's campfires. Before the elite on the far right. Let's just go left. Ah! Oh dear. Am I am I weakened? Did I get a bad card? Let's see, if I press plus no. Oh well let's turn up the volume a little bit. There, that seems good. Um, input settings, no. Game settings, no. Return. If I press minus, I can see the map. Is there a way to see what the mask is doing? Um, X? No, X might be... Oh, oh, oh. I might have used something. Money pouch. Health. Potions. Yes. I'm on the floor. I'm on the third step. Sure. I can see the timer. Minus is map. Uh, left bumper is the deck. Yep, there's my deck. Right bumper does nothing. Left trigger is showing my hand, or... No. Draw pile. Z This is draw pile. My discard pile is empty. Okay. So they call your deck your draw pile. I see. So that's what's left in my draw pile. Um. Oh, there. I can just move this. Gremlin visage. Start each combat with one week. Okay. So it is terrible. I did get the 50% bad. Um, I deal 25% less damage with attacks. But it should only last a turn. So, ostensibly... You know, there could be a situation where... You don't have to aggress on the first turn. But uh, with this deck, that's not the case. So let's use Rage. And let's strike three times. And end the turn. Kaka yourself. Okay, Weakened has worn off. We have Bash, lots of Defends, um, I, can I look over here, Ritual, the enemy intends to attack for 6 damage, 
At the end of its turn, it gains three strength. Oh. Um. I will. Bash. And defend. It does one damage. Okay, now what's it doing? Oh, that's the strength that it increased. Oh, okay, so he's getting much stronger every turn. Okay. Well, let's try to get this over with quickly, then. Oh, maybe... Since he was already... Well... Okay. Oh, hitting me this turn. Okay, good. Here. And then let's do... One. Oh, and he's dead. Nice. What have we got? Eight damage to all enemies. For only one? Wow. Uh, costs one less energy for each time you lose HP, and it deals 18 damage. Ah. Uh, or gain two energy, and then it's exhausted. Um. Hmm. I don't. I, I don't think I'm going to go with Blood for Blood, because I don't really have any things in my deck to manage losing health. I, I, I should be focusing on staying armored so that I la live longer. I've only got my passive to regain 6 health at the end of combat, so I shouldn't count on losing damage. Instead, let's get Cleave. Okay. Proceed. What have we got? Some combat. Combats with the Louse. What a lousy situation. Um... Tends to attack for seven. On receiving attack damage, it rolls up and gains block. That enemy intends to use a buff. Okay. So, let's do the cleave. No. Yes, no. So with the way the curl up works, it'll gain block after being attacked. Well, it's the same damage reduction either way. Better to do let's do cleave. And then we'll do strike. And then defend. And then the turn. Ouchies. Okay, he gains strength. Uh, but it's time to end this. I rage and I bash. Uh, I'm not going to be able to kill them both. Uh, so uh, instead, I will defend.
Nice. Okay. Time for you to die. Gold and a card. Add a random attack into your hand. Cost zero this turn. Exhaust. Okay. Huh. That's very random. Um. Oh, but it costs zero. That's kind of neat. Um. Gain seven block and exhaust a card at random. Not a big fan of that. Especially because you can keep using this, so it will just deplete your deck. And for seven block, is that really worth it? Um, and here, deal five damage. If it's vulnerable, gain energy and draw a card. That synergizes with what I've got so far. So, Infernal Blade sounds kind of cool, but I think we want to go with Dropkick. Proceed. Hello, sir. You will attack for 12, I see. Well, if I... Do rage and then attack and attack again. That's six armor. I should defend for my third to mitigate most of the damage. Okay, let's... Well, we don't have Bash, so Dropkick won't be as good. Cleave is a good amount of damage. He is going to be attacking for that, so let's... Let's Cleave, and then let's defend twice. Okay, here we've got Bash and what's going on there? This enemy intends to inflict a negative effect on you and attack for 7 damage. What? Okay, um... Let's use Cleave while he's vulnerable. Oh, I used up all my energy. Right, because Bash is two. Whoops a daisy. Oh no, I'm weakened. Um, but he is vulnerable. So I can finish him off. Fruit juice. Gain 5 max HP. Add a card. Uppercut. Deal 13. Apply weak. Apply vulnerable. Choose an attack or power card. Add a copy of that card into your hand. Gain 2 strength. At the end of the turn, lose two strength. Um... I think flex or uppercut would both work well. Flex helps on turns when I'm doing lots of attacks. But having more cards that apply vulnerable, I think is helpful in Having the weak is good. Let's let's do uppercut. 
tip, it's not always wise to add cards to your deck. Oh dear. You calling me a fool? Let's, uh, go for the elite. Hello. That's quite a nice spine you have there. Um... Lots of strikes. No chances to block. That's okay. Because he is going to use a buff. So let's... Attack. And... Attack again. Okay, um... This enemy intends to attack for 14 damage. Whenever you play a skill, gains 2 strength. Whenever I play a skill? Like this? Ah, <sighs> uh, oh, and defend is a skill too. Well, if I Rage, Bash, and Strike, that will be 6 block, but it will be attacking for 16. If I Defend twice, that 14 will go up to 18, so it will be 8 damage. 8 damage versus... 10 damage? Um... I mean, if the difference is 2 damage, then I think it's better to go for the one where I do more damage to it. So let's... Rage... Bash... Strike. Okay, um, he is still enraged. This is an attack, that is an attack, so I do have two attacks. Uh, yeah, let's... It's definitely worth it to do six, even if he gains uh, two. So that's f a net four. And then let's deal damage, get more energy. And now I can attack. And let's attack again. I'm at nine, fourteen. Okay, blocked it all, but I am vulnerable. So I gotta be careful. Here, he's not vulnerable anymore. Oh, what? Aggressive! This enemy intends to attack for 30 damage. Whenever you play a skill, gains 2 strength. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is not a good hand for this situation. Um. And 26 health. 8 plus 12, the most I can do is 20! I mean, I'll probably win, but he's going to take a huge chunk away from me.
Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just <laughs> mitigate what I can. And be able to finish him off next turn. Oh, right. Well, it helps a little bit. Youch. Deal 13 damage. Where were you last turn? Um. Yeah, let's just finish him off. Okay. The boot. Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. Sure. Flex Potion, gain 5 Strength. Oh, I... Right, there are the potions. When... Can I use those out of combat? Do they take a... They probably don't take a turn in combat. Um, Deal 9 damage and draw a card. Can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. No. Add a random attack into your hand. Uh... I think Pommel Strike sounds good. Infernal Blade does sound fun, though. Um... A random attack costs zero this turn. Let's... I, I think that sounds fun. Let's go with Infernal Blade. Okay. Next, there is Rest. Or there is... question mark. But if I rest, I'm gonna be going up an against another elite next. Uh... You know what? Let's do it. Let's find out what resting does. Oh. Heal for 30% or upgrade a card in your deck. I think it would be wise to heal. Okay. Time for another elite. Um, if I... X... Yeah, there's the flex potion. I... Do fruit juice to gain max there. Nice. Okay. Um, what have we got? The enemy is asleep. At the end of its turn, it gains eight block. Okay. So I've really got a ha so much health and defense. We really got to be aggressors. Let's bash. Strike. Oh! Cards require energy to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Okay. The enemy is stunned on its turn. I woke it up. And it's not metallic anymore. Huh. Okay, but we're out of energy, so let's end the turn. It's stunned. Now it's my turn, and it's going to attack for 18. Um... Well, it's vulnerable, so let's... Cleave it. 
Let's see what this does. Rampage. Deal 12 damage. Don't mind if I do. And we will defend. Ah, uh, one card has been exhausted. That's what the little purple circle in the lower right means. I gotcha. So, what have we got? Uppercut, Rage, Strike, lots of... Pretty good thing. Yeah, let's... Rage. Let's Uppercut. And then we can drop kick. Um If I rage again, will it double it? If I play rage twice in one turn, will Using my last energy on strike, gain six block. Let's try it. We live and learn, Skellywags. It did, it did work. So that was more block than using defend. Nice. End turn. Enemy's turn, we blocked it all. What have we got? Got Rampage. Uh, what is it doing? It intends to inflict a powerful negative effect on you. Okay. Um, I'm going to Bash, and I'm going to Rampage. And turn. Siphon Soul. My defense and attack are down. Can we finish it this turn? That will do 18 damage. Leaving it with 7. Yeah, we surely we can finish it off, right? Ten. Let's go for it. Nice. Twenty-nine gold. Stone calendar. At the end of turn seven, deals fifty-two damage to all enemies. Uh. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, tip power cards. This card applies a power to you when used. Powers are passive abilities that remain for the duration of the combat. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw a card. Hmm. Okay. Oh, but that's just one of my choices. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Gain five block for each card exhausted. No. Or gain block and deal damage. I, I like Iron Wave. Proceed. Treasure? Treasure! That is what you are. What have we got? A bird-faced urn. Whenever you play a power card, heals 2 HP. Well, <laughs> we just uh, turned down the power card, so that's a shame. 
Okay, okay, okay. Now we've got a normal enemy. I am weakened. He's attacking for 10. And he steals 15 gold whenever it attacks? Oh, anyone who watched my the end of my Moonlighter playthrough knows I hate thieves. Let's fuck him up. Um, He's going to attack for 10. I'm weakened right now. I might as well block for 10 and then do a little bit of damage. End turn. Even when I block, he gets the gold. It's a shame. Um, he's not vulnerable. But we'll use this and do this and do this. And do this. Now I've got plenty of block for your little attack. Yeah, I just want to kill you as fast as possible so you stop stealing from me. Um, let's uppercut. And cleave. Oh, we're so close. Maybe I could have played that differently. To finish him off that turn. I don't think so, though. Just get out of here. Oh, we get our gold back. Nice. A dexterity potion. Dexterity improves block gained from cards. Is that permanent? Ma the max HP was permanent, but the flex potion goes away after a turn, but it specifies that. Don't forget about your flex potions. I haven't. I'm just bad at using potions, honestly. I always save them for when I need them, and then I don't use them. Um, at the end of your turn, gain three block. Ooh. And we'll heal a little bit when we use a power card like that. Deal three da damage to a random enemy three times. It's nine damage for one. It's pretty good. Um, the dex one probably lasts one combat. You're only 80% sure. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll use it planning on that being true. And if it's not, no big deal. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like I've got a good amount of attack cards. And this, this sounds like it'll pay off. Let's get Metallicize. Potion seller. I'd like to purchase some of your finest potions. You cannot handle my finest potions. Um, we've got an unknown or a regular enemy. If we do the regular enemy, we have the option of going to a merchant afterwards. I... We're getting close to the end here. Um... Hmm. 
I am I am a little curious about guidance with with the health that I'm missing with the power that I have will is it better to go for some unknowns is it better to check out the shopkeeper I don't know but I suppose me playing despite not knowing is the <laughs> is the draw of a blind playthrough so I three combat and a merchant one combat two unknowns and two rests ah oh, the two rests is kind of tempting uh, one to heal one to upgrade and who knows what the unknowns will be But I do have all this money. That will go unspent. Um. So. Let's. Let's do... let's head for the merchant. I'm curious. Spore clouds. That doesn't sound good. Tends to use a buff. On death, it applies to vulnerable. I see. So ideally, we'd want to kill them on the same turn or something. Um... Let's... Uppercut... You... Ah, uh, well, yeah. And... Block. And end the turn. Okay, what have we got? We have got this, gain armor. I can apply vulnerable, I can attack. Let's deal, well, I'll get more block if I do it in more attacks. So let's do this skill carnage if this card is in your hand at the end of turn it's exhausted exhausted cards okay um hmm if i use this I'll still be able to strike each of them and three attacks will get me a good amount I think yeah so let's do that take stronger guy out and then do this again and now I've got enough to block you. So I think it won't matter that I'm vulnerable. If I use this... Let's see, he's at 12, so yeah. Let's use this. And I gain 2 health. And then... I can attack and attack to finish you off. Gold. Explosive potion. 
deals 10 damage to all enemies. Am I... Ah. Should have been using... I see. If I go here... I will... Discard that to take this, and I will add two damage four times and exhaust. No, deal six damage, two additional damage for all your cards containing strike. I've got a few strikes. Probably more. Well, is that better efficiency than Pommel Strike, though? I mean, it's, it's certainly more damage. Yeah, I mean, with the limited energy I have, drawing a card isn't always that good. Let's go for this. Okay, and then let's... Oh, I could... Well, this way... We get Mystery... I could get Mystery Enemy Merchant. But this just does Merchant... And then Mystery... Let's... Let's get the extra step in, actually. Do mystery enemy merchant. Yeah. Save the merchant for last. What have you got? You come across an inconspicuous pedestal with a shining gold idol sitting peacefully atop. It looks incredibly valuable. You sure don't see any traps nearby. <laughs> do I take it and trigger a trap? Let's do it. Let's find out. I mean, I have no idea what the benefit will be. I have no idea what the trap will do. But let's play the game. As you grab the idol and stow it away, a giant boulder smashes through the ceiling into the ground next to you. You realize the floor is slanted downwards as the boulder starts to roll towards you. Become Cursed Injury. Take 21 damage. Or hide. I think hiding wouldn't be the worst. Let's hide. The boulder flattens you a little as it passes by, but otherwise you can get out of there. Okay. Next we go... Uh, for this. Oh, one of these guys. Let's... Whenever you play a power card, enemies drop 25% more gold. Okay. Sure. Um... Ash, cleave. Got that much damage coming at me. Let's cleave for sure. And then definitely defend as well. 
And then I guess I'll strike... This one. There we go. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Weak and vulnerable. The enemy has vulnerable gain and energy. Yeah, let's finish off. Ah, but the enemy has to be alive in order to have vulnerable. Oh no. Uh, if I deal five damage to you, you'll be dead. I'll have five block. If I deal five damage to you, you'll be dead. And I can do this and take no more damage. I can use this to heal. And... I can try to get a good attack. Oh! <laughs> okay. That will do it. Deal 20 damage. I have that many with strike. Nice. Add a card. Another cleave. Another infernal blade. Or burning pact. No. Let's get another cleave. And then let's check out the merchant. Hello! Welcome! Oh ho! Welcome, welcome! Okay, you have a sail on Reaper that deals damage and heals equal to unblocked damage, but then it exhausts. Ah. Uh, this. You lose health to deal damage. Gain block and upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. That's pretty good. Game block, draw a card. At the end of your turn, lose 1 HP and deal 5 damage. Um... Oh, but it's a power. No, but I I only heal when I play the power, not when it gets used, I think. Discovery. Choose one of three random cards to add into your hand and cost zero this turn. Yeah, pretty classic. Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, they take five damage. Well, not gonna get that. I don't have any debuff. Oh no, I do. I have the ones to create vulnerable and weak. That, that's pretty good, actually. Gain extra damage every time I use those cards. That costs zero, and it's a power. And it is expensive, so that makes me think it must be very good. Uh, two potion slots. Upon pickup, choose a power card. Start each combat with this card in your hand. Start each elite combat with two strength. Swift potion, block potion, energy potion. Card removal. 
Well. Hmm. I could get sadistic nature and armaments. Um, sixty-two, sixty-eight. I'll have sixty-eight gold left over if I buy this. So enough for pretty much any of these three. Bottled tornado. Or start combat with a power in your hand. Start each elite combat with two strength. I mean, that also sounds very good. Since I think it's mostly... I'm assuming it's just a boss fight we have left. Um... Two strength for elites versus five damage every time. I don't know. They're all good. It's hard to compare. I... I think I'm just going to go with Sadistic Nature and Armaments. Those both sound good. I won't overthink it. So now we leave and proceed. Does it matter which fire we go to? Let's go to the one to here. Okay, heal for 23, of which only 13 will be used, or upgrade a card in your deck. I have the ability to upgrade my own cards. I, I think it'd be better, even though there's some lost health, I think it'd be better to go into this with full health. No worries. Okay. We proceed. We go to whatever this is. Battle start. Okay, we've got the Guardian. It intends to block on its turn. After receiving 30 damage, it will change to a defensive mode. Well, um... I... Starty. Yeah, I'm weak right now. At the end of turn 7, they'll do 52 damage for free. I heal when I play power. Let's, um... Let's gain the dexterity. And let's... What was the other one? An explosive potion? No, I'll save that for if more enemies show up. And I won't... Uh, let's use this right away. So that's a power. Oh, it lasts... 
five turns? Is that what that's saying? Hmm. I thought powers would last all of combat. If you say so. Let's see. It is... Not attacking this turn, so I should... Well, I can actually play all of these cards. So. End turn. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Okay, now it's doing some big attack. I can gain seven block and seven block three. I can gain a lot of block. Um. It's attacking for 32. I would get the most block if I just play these three. Then I get 21. Yeah, probably better to do that. Um, Which card would I want to upgrade, though? Maybe Iron Wave? Use it. Upgrade this one. Sure. Uh. A oh, Y to confirm. I see. And then I will use it. And then I will block even more. Excuse me. Okay. Here, we definitely want to do this. Get extra damage. Because it is not attacking, so don't worry about blocking. Just do that. Now it's in defensive mode. So it attempts to use a buff. Let's strike it. And end the turn. Sharp Hide. Whenever I play an attack, I take damage. Ouchies. Okay. The enemy does not have vulnerable. Um... Let's... It's going to attack for nine. Um. Let's use Infernal Blade. Cool. Use this. And... Use this. And then turn. Okay. Here I've got all attacks basically. So let's use a strength potion.
and let's see this will do 10 26 or if I do 13 8 damage two times Now let's do Iron Wave and Cleave, Cleave. Sharp Hide, War Off. Five damage four times. I do need to protect myself. Um, I'm not able to use drop kick really. Let's definitely gonna use this. I'm definitely gonna use this. And then five damage. No, better to just use this for the six. Okay. Now, let's armaments. An upgrade. If I upgrade Rage, it's pretty good. Can I have more than one power at a time? I wonder. There's nothing that said I can't. But I think I'd rather on this turn, rage, and then do two strikes. So let's do that. Rage. You can have multiple powers. Good to know. Uh, whoops. Yes. Strike. And strike. And then turn. Oh, there's the calendar. Alright, he's back in defensive mode. Might have him on the ropes. Let's... Um... Well, thanks to my sadistic, I think this will do more damage than this even. So I'm going to defend to block myself from the sharp hide, and then I'm going to uppercut for damage, and then turn. Okay, here I can rage for free. Um, yeah, I feel like just being aggressive at this point is still safer. Do that, get the armor. Um, eight. Use a buff and attack for eight damage two times. I... I... 
I'll gain five block if I use strike. Yeah. Let's strike. Okay. Now, there's Uppercut, there's Iron Wave, there's Cleave and Strike. So this will definitely do the most damage. He's already vulnerable. So it will deal 19 plus another 10. This might kill him. So let's do this. Yeah! Huzzah! Got some gold. And... Deal 10 damage. And if fatal, raises your max HP by 3. Huh. Gain two vulnerable. At the start of your turn, gain energy. Wow. Or at the start of your turn, gain two strength. Oh. Oh my. Let's go for demon form. And proceed. GG. Thank you, Chinote. Um, let's open it up. Choose a relic. Black Star. Elites drop an additional relic when defeated. Arc of Pain. Gain energy at the start of your turn. At the start of your combat, shuffle two wounds into your draw pile. No. Or gain a cursed key. Gain energy at the start of your turn. Whenever you open a non boss chest, obtain a curse. No, I think I'd rather, I guess, take the black star. Just get additional rewards. Proceed. Am I not done yet? What happens next? Act two! The city! Okay. We made it to act two is all. I mean, I didn't really think completing a run would be that easy. Um, hmm. Let's see. I don't know. Strategy this, strategy that. Uh. That one's a lot of encounters. This one's got some mysteries. That one's got. A mix of things. An arrest before an elite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's about the same distance to the elite either way. Um... I will... Go this way. Hello! You are intending to block. Block is not removed at the start of its turn? Okay. 
and it negates three debuffs. Oh, but you're pretty low on the health once I get through all that armor. Um... Let's rage. Let's... Uh... Yeah, let's use this and upgrade. What happens if I upgrade this? Add a random attack card into your hand cost. It does nothing. Okay, then no. Um, I suppose I will upgrade the strike then. Deal three damage and apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Okay. Oh my god, that's so much armor. And now it's attacking for ten. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't think I need to go demon form for this fight. Let's... Ten damage two times? That's a lot of... damage. For someone with so much armor. Um... Let's gain... Block. Gain three block. What? Frail. Gain 25% less block from cards for three turns? You bastard. Alright, then I won't bother blocking. I'll get rid of your artifact. Um, there. Youch. Okay. Um, here. Use that. Let's... Let's uppercut, and it is vulnerable, so I can do this, get an energy back, and might as well do this. Okay. And let's do this. And well, that's not enough to finish it off. Maybe I should have blocked instead. I 
four damage. There. There you go. Okay. What have we got? Five block. Five damage. Deal 12 damage. Put a card from your discard on top of your draw pile. A headbutt plus. I mean, 12 damage for one is not bad. Iron Wave is also nice, though. Um, let's. Hmm. Let's do the headbutt. And let's go for the mystery. And then, oh, it changed the cost to zero on the one that I didn't see what the upgrade was. Good catch. In an abandoned temple, you find a giant book open riddled with cryptic writings. As you try to interpret the elaborate script, it begins to shift and morph into writing you are familiar with. Yeah, let's read it. Well, it is a cursed tome. Are there... With stuff like this, is it always a trade-off? Or is it possible that it's just going to be bad? Or is it RNG, like the mask, where it could be straight bad or it could straight be good? Um, let's, let's find out. Continue to learn how the game works. I will read it. Odd, the book seems to be about an ancient named Niao. This piques your interest, but you have a general feeling of malaise. I lose one HP. Oh, the resurrection of... The Ancient of Resurrection Niao was exiled to the bottom of the spire. You feel compelled to read more, but your body begins to ache. I was 2 HP. Seeking vengeance, Niao blesses outsiders, using them for her own purposes. You're starting to feel very weak and tired. I was 3. Those resurrected by Niao remember only fragments of their past selves, cursed to fight for eternity. As you near the final page, your old wounds begin to reopen. I'm going to take the book. Lose 10 HP. The Enchiridion! At the start of each combat, add a random power card into your hand, and it costs zero. Cool. Proceed. Upon finishing the tome, you decide to take it with you. With proof in hand, will you retain your memories? Next unknown. A long line of hooded figures can be seen entering an unassuming cathedral. Naturally, you join the line and are quickly surrounded by cultists! They ignore you as they gleefully chant and wave their weapons around. Murder. Murder. Murder! Ka 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 murder 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 Get out of here you um Your soliciting is not welcome Okay Murder 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 ka 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 Um I eye a donation box. I can smash and grab. Or, ooh, a ritual dagger. Deals 15. And if fatal, it permanently increases this card's damage by 3. But it exhausts. One shot. Well, with the amount of cards I have in my deck, 
I kind of think the odds of having that on hand when it's time for the kill is low. So I think it would be better to smash and grab and not lose health at this point. They didn't even notice. 266! I could stop by the merchant. Uh... I say let's do it. Hello. Sever soul. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand to deal damage. Only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. Whenever you play an attack this turn... Now, I already have that. Add wounds into your hand to gain block. Whenever a card is exhausted, gain block. Transmutation. Add X random colorless cards into your hand. It costs zero. If you have no attacks, draw two cards. Normal enemy combats are no longer encountered in question mark rooms. Cards which exhaust will instead discard 50% of the time? That's pretty neat. Um... Gain an artifact. And the artifact negates the next debuff. Um. Kind of want transmutation. I suppose the sail on Feel No Pain is pretty good. So let's get it. And let's get it. And then I've got 68 left. Could get that. Um... Or I could get this. Um, I don't know. I don't think I really want that. Potion? No. I, I think I'll save the rest of the money. Okay. Let's proceed. We can go to question mark. No, let's. I get additional rewards from elites, so let's fight these guys, rest, and then do that elite. Okay. Flight! What does flight do? They receive 50% less attack damage. But it's cancelled if dealt attack damage three times in one turn. And they're all going to use buffs. Oh, here's the power I have from the Enchiridion. Whenever you draw a status or curse card, it deals six damage to all enemies. Don't mind if I do. Um... Well, Cleave seems like a good choice for this turn. If I... 
headbutt, it would put the only card in my discard pile on top of my draw pile. Oh wait, uh, you can check discard pile. No, my discard pile is empty because the power was exhausted. Um... Well, let's, um, let's cleave, and let's headbutt. Um, this one, I suppose. And let's strike. And we end the turn. One of them is stunned. The others are buffing for strength. Okay. I am no longer weak. I will cleave. And I will get this Thunderclap deals damage and applies vulnerable to everybody. I I should really use if I'm going to use the the what you might call it. Uh no, it got exhausted. If I'm going to use Infernal Blade on a turn, I should use it first. Just to see what it is. Yeah. Okay. But now... For my last thing, I should probably block. Although... I have hit them twice. So I can daze... That 13... By doing that, and then turn, that's probably better than block, right? Ouch. Okay. Um... Rage, because why not? Um, 11 damage. It's not gonna cut it. Let's do this and this. And this. Oh, he's flying again. Okay. Use the powers, get the healing. Um... Eight damage to all enemies. No cards would be exhausted. But this will heal me. So I'm gonna do that. And this. And... this, and then turn. Let's... Is 
Do I risk? No. I don't risk finding out what fun we could have with transmutation this time. Let's just finish him off. Uh, if I upgrade it, though... They, beca they all become upgraded. Wow. Okay. Uh, and then we strike. Yep. Okay. What have we got? An upgraded rage. Or another armament. Um... I think more armaments couldn't hurt. I do like the upgrades. But the rage... Yeah, let's do it. Well... Hmm... Um... I'm torn. If I... How many rages do I already have in my deck? One. I have a single rage in my deck. Uh... Maybe I would rather increase the chances of that. Yeah, I think I'll go for the Rage Plus. Okay, and now we're resting. And I need to heal. Proceed to the elite. Ooh, they're angry. Okay, what have we got? A little aggressive guys. Upon receiving attack damage, they gain strength. But they abandon combat without their leader. You intend to block and use a buff. At the start of your turn, lose health and draw a card. Um. Uh, do I want that? It's just one health for more options. Sure. Plus, it heals me right now. Let's... Upgrade... I should have upgraded the power. That probably would have been really good. Yeah, let's upgrade Cleave. I get a little stronger, but I already have five block now. So it should be fine. Deal 9 damage. Oh wait, what's going on with them now that they have... Oh, that's the minion thing. Gotcha. Um...
let's... No, let's block. Just to make sure... I don't take any damage. Oh. Okay. Now, what have we learned? We've learned... To use Infernal Blade first. We got a free drop kick. Let's use Rage. And then... Nobody's vulnerable. So these drop kicks aren't gonna do me much good. Um, I'm not going to exhaust transmutation. I'll save that stuff for later. Instead, I'll just deal what damage I can. Um, they have armor. Oh, they have so much armor. Oh my god. So much damage is incoming. End turn. This is gonna hurt. I don't know if I'm making it out of this one, Skellywags. Owie. Um. If I... Yeah, I definitely want to do that. And we do want to try to kill the minions now, I think. If I... I can heal and get block this way. If I do this, it will kill. Then I won't have enough. There's no other damage things to kill the other one. Well, let's get one of them out of the way. And let's do this. Just a little damage. And become stronger. Um... damage to all will not kill it. So... If I want to use Uppercut on the leader... The enemy's intentions are unknown. But it's not attacking. Um... If I want to use Uppercut on the leader... Well, 
It would be a cleave and a strike. Yeah, better to use cleave and strike. Wait! Oh no, I did the math wrong. Um. Well. Yeah, I should have just done that. Oh well. Rally, he brings in two more. How dare you? I mean, I knew he would. But it still hurts to see it. Let's. Do I dare transmute? If we... I mean, I definitely want to rage. And... If I... Do I go all out offensive on the leader, gain armor, or do I f now? Yeah, let's do that. So, headbutt and iron wave and strike. And end turn. Powers them up. Um, rage and rage. We uppercut you, and we drop kick you. And we armaments. Um. Yeah. And end turn. Will I make it out of this one alive? I don't know. That's a lot of damage. Nope. Here it goes. Desecrated. I'm gonna need a new map. Floors climbed. 24. Nine enemies slain. Two elites killed, one boss is slain. Score 208. Okay, so the 300, it's score that's unlocking something. Huh. New character. Main menu. Well. I did I do poorly or good for my first time? I don't know. Compendium, card library, relic collection, potion lab. Understood. Stats. Run history. Look at all the details. Okay, and character stats. What are these achievements? I've defeated the Guardian. Okay. Gar 
cards discovered, cards unlocked. How have I discovered zero cards? Oh, because I haven't played the discovery card, I guess? Is that specifically what it means by discovered? Hmm. Okay. Total deaths, one. Let's play. Daily climb, new challenge once a day. Play a daily climb to unlock custom mode. Now let's just do standard again. The ironclad. Um, or the silent. A little less HP, same amount of gold. A deadly huntress from the fog lands. Eradicates foes with daggers and poisons. Reign of the Snake. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. Okay, so you've got the initiative. Um, sure. Let's try out the Silent. Or do I want to... Do I want to give the Ironclad one more go? And see if we can get that next unlock. We could save the Silent for... Next stream... Because if, if the next run goes as long as this one did, I probably only have time for one more. Let's stick with Ironclad. Oh, hey! I met you in Dead Cells as well. Greetings, I am Niao. Choose um, a random rare card, three random potions, lose max health to transform two cards, or lose my starting relic, but obtain a random boss relic. No, I think I like my healing relic. Let's get a random rare card. Lose six health? Excuse me? Granted. Lose six health, gain two energy, draw three cards. Wow. Huh. That's some card. I will leave then, and let's take a look at the map. We've got mysteries and enemies, and elites, and I don't know. Let's, let's go for the middle one. Okay, let's... Hmm. If we... Bash for 8, 21, and then... We probably won't be able to kill it, but we could kill this one if we put two attacks on it. So if we bash you, you'll be vulnerable next turn, but then we strike... Oh, whoops. I forgot. Bash is two. I'm a dummy. I've been slimed. Gross. I don't think I need to use offering for these guys. Uh... But this hand is just all blocks. So let's try it. Lose a little health. 
We get strikes, we get more energy. So we can finish you. We can attack you. And then we can... Defend against nothing. Alright, um... Let's... Get that out of here. Let's finish you off. Gold and a card. Whenever you draw a status or a curse card, deal six damage. Is this... No, that's not status or a curse. It's just a... Skill. Um... Deal damage equal to your block. Kinda cool. But Iron Wave, Iron Wave is solid. I do like an Iron Wave. Alright. Mystery, what do we got? As you walk into the room, you hear a gurgling and the grinding of metals. Before you is a slime-like creature that ate too much scrap for its own good. From the center of the creature, you see glints of strange light. Perhaps something magical? It looks like you can get some treasure if you just reach inside its opening. However, the acid and sharp objects may hurt. 3 HP? Oh, but only a 25% chance of finding a relic? I think that's worth. Ouch! All you find is corroded metal and a bit of burning pain. However, you're still convinced there's a relic. Oh, <laughs> you. Oh, how dare you do this to me. I want that relic. Ow, give it to me. Success. After rummaging through the metal and burning acid, you finally grab hold of a relic and yank it out. You pull your way out of the ooze damaged, but rewarded. I got a little teapot. Find out what that does soon enough. Um, if we go this way, it's combat, combat, combat until an elite. That looks pretty brutal. If we go this way, it's another mystery and a shop and a mystery. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, if I do return, no, how, burning blood, ancient tea set, whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two energy, well, if only there were rest sites nearby. Um, I mean, there's one there, but then you're missing out on the elites. If I... Well, let's... Let's go this way. Risk and reward. A strange blue humanoid with a golden helm approaches you with a huge smile. Hello, friend! I am Cleric. Are you interested in my services? The creature shouts loudly. Um... Sure. Uh, I'll take healing for a spot of gold. A warm golden light envelops your body and dissipates. The creature grins. Cleric, best healer. Have a good day. Okay. Um, thanks. Let's go to the shop. We're kind of broke. What? Whenever a card is exhausted, draw a card. Reduce it. Well, what can we afford? 
couple things on the top row. Or... Elixirs. Blood, vi Blood Vial. Every time you play 10 attacks. Combat reward screens now contain colorless cards and cards from other colors. Huh. Double your block. Gain 8 block and draw a card. Deal 6 damage. And add a copy of this card into your discard pile. That will, and it's free. I kind of like that. Yeah, let's do it. Confirm. All right, and we're broke. Proceed. And next, we can go for combat or another mystery. Let's, you know, I'm feeling mysterious. Let's go for the unknown. You walk into a room to find a large hole in the ground. As you approach the hole, an enormous serpent creature appears from within. <laughs> hello, hello, what have we got here? Hello, adventurer, I ask a, a simple question. The most fulfilling of lives is that in which you can buy anything. Do you agree? Um, doubt. Unplayable. At the end of your turn, gain one week. Uh, no. I... I don't want that in my deck. I'll disagree. The serpent stares at you with a look of extreme disappointment. Well... You know, different strokes for different folks, buddy. Don't know what to tell you. Let's go to the elite. Battle start. Hello, we fought before, you and I. Let's thank you, vulnerable. Get some damage in. And some more. Now he's angry. Um. So whenever I play skills, oh, well, so kind of you to give me all these skills, but that's fine. Honestly, because I gain shield more than he gains strength. Just a shame I wasn't able to take advantage of the vulnerability. Okay, am I going to offer? No, not when he's enraged. That doesn't seem like a smart idea. I can attack, and lock and strike. Yeah. And, and, turn. Okay, uh, we can bash, anger, and strike. If I strike, it won't finish him, though. Maybe I do want to block a little. Won't help that much. It'll give me three less damage. Now let's strike. Uh, 
Ouchies. Okay. Here. Um, 16 health to go. Well, we can definitely do that. And then this will finish him off. Yep. Fold. Start each combat with four plated armor. That sounds good. What does plated armor do? Choose one of three random colorless cards to add to your hand. And it costs zero this turn. I wonder if I'll get to keep it. Add a card to your deck. Ethereal! Um... Gets exhausted from your hand. So it's a now or never card. Intimidate applies weak to all enemies. And rupture, whenever you lose health from a card, gain a strength. Okay, that kind of synergizes with um, my offering card. Let's go for that. Proceed. We've only got one choice of where to go, so it's time for more combat. Okay. Um, might as well use this up front. And make you vulnerable. And can't do anything else, so we end the turn. So plated armor, at the end of your turn, gain two block. Receiving unblocked attack damage reduces plated armor by one. Okay. So it gives me two block. And then... I see. I, I need to maintain the block in order to keep getting that block. Okay. Well, let's see. What have we got here? Let's use this to finish you off. Let's attack you with this. And then I've got a decent amount of block and you're not attacking, so might as well go for the strike. Oh, but I've still got more. Uh, yeah, let's strike again and be done with it. Hold and... I do like rage. Um... damage draw a card. No, I like rage. Proceed. Now, here's a big thing. We've got shop chest elite, or we've got monster chest elite, or we've got mystery chest rest monster uh, tough of a road can we handle? I don't think there's much sense in going for the merchant when I've only got 70. Let's... If we go this way, no matter which way we go, we get a chest. If we go this... If we go left... We could get two elites. Ah... Uh, I 
if we go... Right. Game mystery. I I don't know. Um I don't really understand when it's better to go for unknown and when it's better to go for enemy. If I... I know elites give you relics, and so I like relics. But also elites are hard fights. Probably shouldn't do two of them, especially with no healing in the middle. So if rather than... So this way, say we would do enemy, chest, elite, Enemy, rest, question mark, question mark. So two enemies, two question marks, two rests, and elite. This way, we get... Um... An elite, and... Two question marks and two enemies. Okay. And two rests. Okay. So if I yeah, if I go up that zigzag and then there. It's basically the same thing but in a different order. Uh which order would I prefer? Uh, let's go right. Okay. Um, I'm going to wait with offering until I've done the other power. Let's do this. And we can block more. And we can strike and turn. Blocked it all, so I didn't lose any plated armor. Um, yep, let's use Rupture and Rage and Anger. And strike and block. Okay, now I can bash and strike and s oh, never mind. And we can finish you off. Okay. Gold. And, ooh, sword boomerang. Three damage to random enemy three times. Draw one card. Put a card from your hand onto the top of your drop. Right, that's the swap. Um. Huh. Um. I don't know. I guess I'd take the attack out of all of these. Nine, nine attack, but it's randomized too. Um, but you know, with all the defense I have, 
If I use two defense, well, yeah, let's go for body slam and the chest. What have we got? Gold and a question card. Future card rewards have one additional card to choose from. Oh, I see. Oh, but that's permanent. Neat. You proceed. And I'm going to do this rest. Yes. And 24 will get me up to 78. Nearly full health. We proceed. I'll start. We can. He's attacking for 16 and a negative effect. When its HP is at or below 50%, it splits into two smaller slimes. Great. Just great. Um, so if I get it below 35, it'd be better to try to get it as low as possible once you pass that point. I see. Um, well, let's, we don't have any damage modifiers, so we might as well just throw that out there. We should, oh. We have all the energy from the rest thing. I see. So we have five and only four cards to spend it on. Well, might as well use them all then. That's all we can do. Okay, um, we can rage and wait, well, what's it doing? Just a negative effect. If I bash and wave, yeah. If I do this, it's going to split, and they will each have 32. So maybe it's best to wait till next turn. Ah, oh, but now I'm frail. Less block. Okay. I can do this and this. And... Strike. 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 And... Um... Defend. And turn. So now there will be two with nine, right? Yeah. That's much better than how it could have been. Let's rage. Let's anger the one attacking me. And let's anger it again. And then we strike this one. Ah, oh, but it's gonna split into two with two health, right? 
No, it doesn't do that. Okay. All right, this is the end for you. Goodbye. What have we got? An entropic brew. Fill all your empty potion slots with random potions. Okay, so save that for last. Add a card to your deck. Power through. That's wounds to your hands. But you gain a lot of block. That pairs well with the body slam. Do I have anything? Uh, how many strikes do I have? Five? Just five strikes. So that makes 16. Infernal Blade, Uppercut, I don't think I have Uppercut yet, I did like that one. So Uppercut's a good card, Power Through kind of synergizes, but it kind of affects things. Um, you would have to hope you get it on the same turn as well. So maybe it's not worth. Let's go for uppercut. Okay, proceed. And now we're going for the elite. Let's do it. Hello. You all get one free debuff. You're going to attack me. Um, I'm going to... Use my colorless potion. Discovery. Master of Strategy. Or Dark Shackles. Enemy loses nine strength. Uh, they all get exhausted. But Discovery is another... <laughs> It's basically a mulligan of just, oh, I don't like these cards. Choose one of three random cards. Oh, but no, it's going to cost one. Ah, uh, but then the thing I use won't cost anything. Um... Yeah, what the heck, let's do discovery. Oh no, it does cost zero. Okay. <laughs> well, let's do it again. Uh, whenever you gain block, it deals five damage to a random enemy. As a power? That's pretty good. Searing Blow deals 12 damage and can be upgraded any number of times. For Carnage, deals 20 damage. Um, whenever you gain block, I mean, with rage, that's that's really good. I think, I think I want to do juggernaut. We cast it, and then. Might as well defend 
And strike. And body slam. Oh, and my plated armor triggers the Juggernaut, too. That's cool. What was that? Oh. Huh. I don't like that. Let's, um... Go all in on one enemy? I mean, we can't kill any of them this time. So, especially with the stuff we've got, might as well block and deal the random damage from protecting ourselves. More dazed. Yikes. Um... Let's... Rage... And Rupture... And Offering... And then... Got four energy. Which is enough. Let's attack you. And attack you. Nice. And... Uh... Well... Yeah, let's finish you off. There. Oh, I've still got one more. And turn. More dazed cards. Here they start to come. Fend. Strike. Body slam. And we're good. I think that went well. A regal pillow. Whenever you rest, it heals an additional 15 health. Nice. A blood potion as a heal. That's incredible. Okay. Headbutt. Iron wave. Thunderclap. Or pummel. Um, I think in between iron wave and thunderclap. Do we get to keep any of those cool cards? No. No, we don't. Um, so we're back to here. With those cards. Um, I think I like Iron Wave better. Okay, but now we're gonna go right so that we get. Yeah. Combat and the mystery over... Oh, if I go for this... No. Wait, how does it work? I, I do have to rest. I can't just go to... Well... 
Do I have to rest at the rest, or will the blacksmith still give me that pillow heal? I don't know. It says additional, so I do think I have to rest. Um, well, let's do the enemy. Hello. Let's... Uppercut you. And then... Block, I guess. I'm weakened. Shoot. Well, at least I didn't take any damage. We can... Let's... I'm weakened. Um... Defend Iron Wave and Body Slam, I think. Yeah. Let's do that. Defend. Iron Wave. On. You. And body slam and attack. Super weak. That's not good. Um, do this again. Let's just try and finish you off. End the turn. Okay, so we can uppercut and Strike. Um, no, with the armor it has, that won't better to do this. Okay. Now we can get this stuff. Three and four. Now we make it vulnerable. There we go. Nice. What have we got? Brutality. Lose health and draw a card. And I have... Whenever you lose... Oh, but only from a card. I don't think losing health from a power will count. Okay. So no. Deal 8 damage. Increase this card's damage by 5 this combat. That's pretty good. Let's let's go for rampage. Mystery 
As you make your way down the long corridor, you see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. Now, upon closer inspection, they're tied to strings coming from holes in the ceiling. There's a quiet cackling from above as you approach the objects. What do you do? I could heal. I could get higher max health. Or I could get a relic, but become cursed with regret. At the end of your turn, lose HP equal to the number of cards in your hand. Ow! That, uh... That sucks. <sighs> but I do like relics. I mean, max HP is pretty good, too. I don't know. Let's go big and... Let's... Uh, big risk, big reward. Um... Because regret, that might... That is a card. I feel like losing HP from that would increase my strength for the other card. Let's go for the box. You grab the box, inside you find a relic, however you really crave the donut. You're filled with sadness, but mostly regret. I could demolish a box of donuts right now. If we take a look at... We got a bag of marbles. At the start of each combat, applies one vulnerable to all enemies. Eh, it's okay. Uh, to the rest spot. I don't think we need the rest. That's going to be overkill, for sure. Let's go to the smith. Um, select a card to upgrade. Rampage, or... What if we upgraded Rupture? Will it show me a uh, Are You Sure screen? Yes. Um, gain two strength every time I lose health. If I... Ten damage, three vulnerable. Pretty good. Rage being upgraded is also very nice. That's nice. This five cards. No. That's not good. That being free is okay. Too weak and too vulnerable. I do like that. So I'm torn between Rampage, Uppercut, Anger, and Rupture. This one increases it by two, and it multiplies each time it goes through. This one, whenever I lose HP, I'm gaining strength. I'll get twice as much strength. That then applies to all my attacks. This, you're really increasing the damage that this does. I think better Rampage than Anger, but no, Anger, each time you use it, it gets more and more of them. So even though this would be increasing by 8, 
you would also be increasing I think better anger than rampage um well the thing about rampage is it's all in one card where it's this ah, I don't know an uppercut Okay, more vulnerable. I don't know how to judge, honestly. I, I can spell it all out, try to do a little bit of math, but I just don't have the skull for this. I think I... Which one sounds the most fun? Okay, a bunch of angers that deal more damage making them weaker and more vulnerable longer an extra turn of weak and vulnerable I mean cuz rampage it probably How many times am I going to go through a deck? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to... Uh, this is taking too long. I but it doesn't help me decide. I'm going to upper uh no. I mean fifty percent more damage. Fifty percent more damage does a lot. I mean Yeah, let's do uppercut. The weak and the vulnerable, I think that pays off. Here we go. Boss time. Hello. You are doing something unknown. The Hexaghost. Tensions unknown. But you are vulnerable. Um, I have five, one, two, three, four, so I can use everything. Well, yeah, I don't have the power yet, but let's use the offering. Ah, uh, do I want to though? I mean, surely it's better to wait, especially since it gets exhausted. Ah, but it's vulnerable. Now let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I can do pretty much everything except for one. So maybe the strike. Um, five block versus six damage, five more block versus six more damage. Um, well, we're going to use one of them, and that's just striker defend. Getting, f I mean, I'm not going to need the block this turn, because it's not attacking. So might as well strike, I think. Okay. End turn. Did a lot of damage. 
Six times six. That's scary. Um, and all we have are attacks. Well, it is vulnerable. But so are we. This is unfortunate. Yep. There goes all that. Let's... Oh, what are you doing? Just six damage next time? Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. And... And turn... I do gain the strength. It did work. Okay. I rage... And... I strike... And strike... And slam. Okay. Um, let's weaken it again. And attack. And as well block and not take the damage. End our turn. Okay. Here, we can Bash an iron wave, or no seven seven and eight. It's it's already pretty vulnerable, so let's just go for this stuff. In flame, it increased its own strength. Um, at the end of your turn, take two damage. I will rampage. And block is the only thing I can do. Uh-oh. Let's Iron Wave and defend. No, that's fifteen total. Yeah, let's um strike and body slam. There we go. Oh, and I didn't use any potions. Silly me. What do we add? Power, deal 10 damage. If fatal, raises your max HP. Gain 30 block and exhaust. Or at the start of your turn, gain two strength. I'm leaning towards the demon form and impervious. I mean, Impervious and Body Slam on the same turn is a lot of damage. I think Demon Form... Let's go for Demon Form again. I never actually used the last run, but I still think it could be good. 
Black Blood replaces Burning Blood. At the end of combat, heal 12 HP. Double the effectiveness of potions. Or, upon pickup, obtain one potion. Gain 50 gold. Raise your max HP by 5. Obtain a card and upgrade a random card. I mean, that's a nice package. Um, gain six more HP at the end of every combat is nice. Twenty percent of my max HP will become forty percent. Uh, 40% is, what, like 32 of 80? Because 10 is 8, 4 times 8, 32, yeah. Um, healing for 32 instead of 16. So that's 16 extra health. I would get. I don't think filling my empty slots with random potions. Well. It does mean I have a lot of potions. So even though I'd only get 16 extra health. This would get, be better than that after only uh, three encounters, but well, I guess it all depends on what random potions I'm going to get. But then this, I don't really need the gold, a one-time max HP upgrade, I think it's not as nice as healing. The card upgrades are nice, but let's go for the potions. Let's try it. Proceed. Act to the city. Okay, here. Um. Oh, I'm already healed. I didn't know it restores you to full health when you get to the next act. Ah. Uh, well. I guess that's fine. Um, what do we want to do? That's three, and then a mystery and an elite. This is four enemies, and then an elite. And then you've got resting and stuff, chest. Merchant, and that. Okay. So, it's that. But then on the right side, there's... A merchant right away. Which is kind of nice since I've got all the money. Um, approximately four, five enemies, and then an elite. Or you could go there. Uh, merchant, enemy, mystery, enemy, elite. Mystery, rest. 
chest. Mystery Elite. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of... Well... We get the merchant early on the right side. But then we don't get it late. Uh... I think that's okay. Yeah, let's let's do this right side. And I will do middle to the right and then go far right mostly until Oh yeah, that's Yeah. So, here we go. What have we got? We've got an early offering. We've got... The ability to bash and then rampage. It is defending, and it has the barrier. Let's... Bash and Rampage. Chop down some of that. And end turn. It blocks some more. So I will... And now it's going to attack. I'm going to use my upgraded uppercut. And an Iron Wave. We can mitigate most of the damage. Now... I will rage. Um... I will... Ah... Uh, Yeah, with the Rage, I think it's better to do this. And... This, and this. Forgo the power for now. But now I'm regretting it. Um... So now I won't get the bonus, but can we kill it soon? No, not really. Um, well, there's no attack modifiers, so we might as well get this out of the way. And then... Oh, no, we're just doing everything. Um, it's too late. We really want Demon Form early, if we want to be using it. Let's... Definitely going to Rampage. And Iron Wave. And we just don't have any options to block this time. Better to do this damage. Here comes the big hits. Okay. Um. But now we can finish it. Battle Trance. Draw three cards. You cannot draw additional cards this turn. Huh. 
or another anger or another uppercut um no I don't think it's good to have too many uppercuts um I think battle trance is kind of nice Okay, let's go to the shop. What did she got for me? Hemokinesis. Lose health to deal damage, but that would also increase my strength with my power. A sail on a rage card. At the end of your turn, Lose one health and deal five damage to all enemies. Interesting. Um. What have we got down here? Every six turns, gain an intangible, which reduces all damage taken and HP lost one. I don't know, every six turns. It can no longer become weakened. It's kind of nice. Brews five random potions. Upon pickup, but I don't, I don't have room for five random potions. I can only carry three, and I already have two. Um... That deals 20 damage. Gain two block, draw a card. Add random cards into your hand. think burner is fire hello 99% sneaky well I did notice you so I guess you're just the 1% today welcome uh, I'm playing Slay the Spire for the first time this is my second ever run we are in act 2 as the ironclad and I don't know what to do. Um, hemokinesis would... I, I think I do want to get that. Let's get that. And then let's see how much money we have. We've got... A sale on rage. I think I only have the one rage. It wouldn't hurt to have another. It is a nice card. So let's get it. Burner is fire. You a big fan of the combust then? I could be persuaded. Remove curse not a terrible option. Yeah. Uh, well, the curse, I mean, it's bad on one side, but it's also kind of works with my deck. I have this regret, but I lose health, but if I, as long as I have the power rupture applied first, losing that health will gain me strength. But it is an unplayable card, maybe it's better for rupture just to pair with things like hemokinesis and offering rather than a curse like regret. Yeah. I'm easy. You've convinced me. I will get rid of my regret. Okay. And then we have 143. 
we could still get combust. Um, but is that losing too much health? I don't know. One health per turn isn't that much. Um, because I don't really care for that. Don't really want that. Can't afford that. Don't really want that. So it's this or nothing. Valid point. I see why you picked up the regret. Yeah. But the the thing now is I think I'm getting quite a few cards and I am worried about taking on too much damage from losing health. You think you'll regret getting rid of regret? Shit. Oh no. You're right, I'm already regretting it now that you've said that. Now I'm worried. Um... Well... Let's... let's... Do our best to go onward. I'll get combust and we'll keep on going. Let's... Proceed. Okay, I'm not going to use Hemokinesis until I start, until I've got my power in place. I can use Battle Trance. Ooh, yeah, let's go for a Demon Form right off the bat. And end the turn. You don't think it was the worst option to get rid of it either? Okay. Well, let's not do offering yet either. We can focus on one of these. Let's try to kill, or at least knock down This one by doing that and that and that. Good. And ending the turn. Yep, my plated armor's gone. We rage, we mm. we uppercut and we rampage. And turn. Okay, there's the rupture. Uh, but let's rage. Ooh, this will be good. And let's pair it with Rupture. And then defend? Or I just straight up kill this guy. And then we don't take that damage. Yeah. Thank you. 
Is there a way of seeing... No, not that. No, not that. I'm curious if I can see, like, the history of moves. So that I can see... I'm pretty sure that combustion will not trigger rupture. But I want to see it in writing. It was a bit hard with all the things going off at the end of the turn to track it. Um... Let's do this, and we can insta-kill one of them. Oh, but this, that also insta-kills one of them. No, it doesn't. It had armor? No, it's because of the flight. Um... And... Twelve damage. Well, that will kill this. So why not? And end turn. Kaka yourself! Okay. One, and two, and you're dead. Gold, and what have we got? Armaments, I do like an armaments. We've also got Infernal Blade, War Cry, and Clash, I don't really care for. Let's go for the armaments. A mystery. In an abandoned temple, you find a giant book, open riddled with cryptic writings. Oh boy. We've been here before. We got... Is it the same thing every time? Will it be the Necronomicon? Your strength went up by three there. Two from Demon, and one from the Rupture com Combust combo? There are three different books you can get. Okay. Uh, I've, I've still got the Healing Potion. Let's read... And find out. This one, instead of the Enchiridion, it's the Necronomicon. The first attack played each turn that costs two or more is played twice! But you also obtain a special curse. Uh-oh. I wonder what the curse is gonna be. You take it with you? Um... What are we cursed with? The Necronomic Curse. Oh, it's just a bad card. No escape from this curse, but it's unplayable. Okay. Um. Let's heal. Or leave. Yeah, Monster Fight is next. So let's heal. Drink it. And now we're there. And if I use this, it will give me all the random potions. So might as well. And we have Gambler's Brew, Ancient Potion, and Liquid Memories. Okay, pretty pretty specific situations there. Good thing you have two plus cost attacks. Yeah, I'm looking forward to some double uppercuts and stuff. Um, let me take another look at it. The first attack each turn. 
that costs two or more is played twice. Yeah, that's nice. Um, vulnerable at the start. Potions are doubled. Yeah. Leave. Monster. Here we go. Hello, you're new. What does malleable mean? Uh, a negative effect on me. Upon receiving attack, it gains block. Block gain increases as malleable is triggered, but it resets to three at the start of your turn. Okay. So you want to do big damage rather than a lot of little damage. Um... Let's start with some demon form. And... I will cast Anger. And the turn. Feebling Spores! How dare you! Um, let's get some more cards here. This will be nice. If I do uppercut and then defend, well, it will be weak. Ah, but my frailness means I get less block. Uh, let's definitely do the uppercut. Very nice. And then... Let's do... Bust. Just get some straight damage in there. Five times three. Well... Now let's combust. Okay, next up, we can Rage, and we can Iron Wave, and Iron Wave, and I will defend. Nice. Voided damage there. Okay, let's rage. Let's rupture. Let's offering. Or wait. Ah, uh, if only this cost more, I'd be able to get send it out twice. Um Now let's do this. Yeah, there we go. This'll finish you. So will this really. Um, do that. Upgrade this. Why not? Wreck you. There we go. A speed potion. Ten dexterity? Oh, that's good. Um, 
Let's discard a potion. Discard a number of cards and so redraw two artifact or extra oh I think the artifact is what I will I should have used the ancient potion this yeah Okay, I should have used the Ancient Potion this turn, this combat, when I saw it was about to do debuffs. Uh, let's discard, take you, and add... Um... Six damage, no, I don't want that. More Anger or more Iron Wave? Um, let's do or iron wave. Or Yeah, I need to focus on staying alive. Let's get How many iron waves do I have? Just one? No, two. One, two. I already have two. Let's skip more anger. Okay, and now I do want to do the elite. Uh, let's go for it. Painful stabs. Okay. Let's get some block. Send out all this stuff. I can do everything. And end turn. It does damage, but I block it. Good first turn. Now here, it's good to get the rupture out. And uppercut, gotta use my Nakonomicon when I get the chance. And then anger, it's vulnerable so we can get bonus there. Then we just have to suck up a bit of the damage. Oh, I took some wounds. That must have been from its ability. Let's rage. And... I did already set up Rupture. We could do the offering. Let's do it. Now, um, let's, I mean, might as well battle trance. Okay, um, Demon form, or I could bash chemo. Uh, I am raged right now. So I do gain block for attacking. I do think I want to bash, get the double bash. And Oh, if I was going to do Hemo, I should have done it before and would have increased the damage of the other thing. 
Uh, but that's okay. Do I want to do demon form, or do I want to go for 14, like 30 damage? Yeah. Let's get all this damage out there. I think we can kill it. No, not quite. Not quite. But we do have enough armor to block this attack. Uh, game block, upgrade. Yes. Oh, that makes it free. Uh, then no, let's upgrade this. There we go. War paint, upgrade two random skills. Nice. Okay. Gain eight plated armor. Oh, but that's a potion, and I didn't use I didn't use any potions. Shit. Um I guess the gambler's brew. Okay. Add a card. Feel no pain. Every time a card is exhausted, gain some block. Or I could get another armaments. I think I'd rather have another armaments. Or do I want another attack? No, let's do this. Okay. Now, I can do... Combat or unknown. Um, let's do the unknown. An old beggar cloaked in fur reaches his hands out to you as you pass. Spare some coin, child. 75 gold to remove a card from your deck. Sure. Do I get to pick which one? The beggar takes off its cloak to reveal that he is Cleric! You are a kind soul. Receive my purification! He screams. You are unsure if he's grateful or mad. Um... I... So with the way we've got two armaments now... I worry about having too many block cards and not enough attacks, so maybe we remove one defend card? I think it wouldn't hurt. I mean, probably not the best use of 75 gold, but if we have to get rid of a card... I feel like just one of the defenses is the way to go. Learning. We're at 30 out of 80 HP. Do we want to remove block? Uh, well, something we can do now is when we go to the fireplace, I am going to get uh, 24 and another 15 back from my regal pillow. So, now we're back up to 69, which is pretty good. And we get a chest. Um, gold and a toxic egg. Whenever you add a skill into your deck, upgrade. Anytime you add a skill? Wow. Okay. I mean, that's straight up the egg from Alien, isn't it? It's a little scary. Uh, upgrading cards makes them more powerful. Yeah. 
Okay. I'll take it. They offered me an egg in this trying time. Um... Shall we do another mystery? Why not? Scaling the city, you notice a wall covered in the writing of ancients. As you try to wrap your head around what the puzzling symbols and glyphs could mean, the writing begins to glow. Suddenly, the message becomes clear. Uh, remove a card from your... No! Please, upgrade all strikes and defense. Wow. That was very good. Okay, elite time. Let's go. Oh, but I could have removed... Why didn't I remove Necronomicers? I fucking forgot I had Necronomicers! I'm such an idiot! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Yep. Uh, I shall... Rage. I shall... Combust, since there's several of you. And... Lots of attacks coming out. I, I think it will behoove me to get some block in. So let's attack you. Get that block. Uh, and let's get... Do I want to use... No, I mean speed... The, the plated armor and the speed potion will... Oh, but that only improves block gained from cards. It won't improve the block gained from plated armor. Even so... Oh, you can't remove that one. There is no escape from this curse. True. Good catch. I'm doing fine, then. Um, this is an elite battle. So, it, it, it makes sense. Let's, um... And we should use potions. But if I'm only going to use one, it would be better to do the additional plated armor. No, I think... Well, I think the dexterity is better... Oh, but it's only for a turn! At the end of your turn, you lose 10 dexterity. Okay, never mind. Um... Let's just get some more plated armor for this fight. And leave it at that. Um... Oh, but I had additional energy. Thanks to the rest spot. So we can also do this. Might as slaver, taskmaster, and another slaver. Might as well attack that guy. Okay, here comes the damage. Oh, we're wounded. Shit. Okay, let's get the rupture out. And... Do I bash? Yeah. Let's... Bash. Oh, nice, and it does it twice. Forgot about that. Do some of that. And turn. Oh, 
wonderful! The beautiful of combust! The beauty of combust. Okay. Here... I can... Lose health, get a little more attack... Get a lot more stuff... Let's do it. Okay, we got this. To be able to mess you up. And then we're so close to killing you anyway. Um... Let's do that. And then strike, strike, and anger. Okay, I think using the plated armor potion was a bit of a waste on this fight, but we're doing okay. Let's, um,. What is that? I cannot play attacks this turn. Huh. Wait. Where'd my... Why didn't it let me upgrade my stuff? Oh, the rest are already upgraded, so there was no choice. It had to go to Hemokinesis. I gotcha. Uh, well, I guess we're defending and defending, then. And my combust takes care of you. <gasps> okay. Enemies in elite combats have 25% less HP? Ah, but that probably doesn't apply to boss fights, right? Boss is different from elite. Still pretty cool. And we get a potion. Deal 8 damage to all enemies X times. Or exhaust your hand. Deal 7 damage for each card exhausted. Now... Gain 11 block and draw a card. Whirlwind with strength build is nuts, and Necro plays it twice. I was just thinking to myself, I bet if I use it when I have 2 or 3 energy, it will play twice. I, I think I do want to go with Whirlwind. Uh, but you're right. The synergy of increasing my strength does make it cool. Um, okay. So from here... It's... I have my choice, really. I mean, it's all enemies and mysteries. And I can either have one enemy encounter, or two, or three. Which do I want? I don't know. I... Let's have one enemy encounter, and we'll have it in the middle. A man with an eye patch and a devilish grin strides up to you. Hey there, stranger. Interested in advancing science? I can make you stronger than any training or blessing. You're gonna need it if you're one of those heroes with a death wish. 
What do you say? Get jaxed! Um... Oh, Jax. Lose 3 HP, gain 2 strength. Joke's on you, I'm into that shit. Or transform 2 cards. Or obtain a special relic. You're getting some wild events? Jax? Well, I mean, all three of these sound pretty good, honestly. I, I, I don't think I want to transform cards, because who knows what they'll transform into. But a special relics are always seem to be nice, and this card, I think, works well. Gaining strength... And then, I mean, I'm getting more strength as well from the health being lost. But what could the relic be? How good would that relic be? Ah, uh, I think we'll find out another time. Let's get jaxed. Excellent. The man hands over a dangerous-looking syringe filled with a glowing liquid before skulking off into a shadowy alleyway. Okay. Combat, here we go. A shelled parasite with plated armor. That is aggressive. Intends to attack... Oh yeah, that's just... Back it's doing. Plated armor. At the end of its turn, 14 block. Or see 50% more damage. Uh, and that's intending to buff. And when it dies, it applies vulnerable. Okay. Um, what have I got? I think I want to use an armament and upgrade combust. Confirm. And if I do armament again, I can upgrade. What happens if I upgrade offering? Gain five cards. Uh. No. I think I'll go for Anger instead. So we combust, and I use Anger on that guy. And then end the turn. Okay, here we are. Um, I'm not going to use Jax yet. Oh, and it got upgraded thanks to my egg. Nice. Um, eight damage to all of them. It would be three times, but really it would be six times. So 48 damage. That would kill... I would kill the fungus guy and make me vulnerable. And I wouldn't have anything blocking. I think... Ah, oh, it's just not a good time for... Whirlwind. I think. I'll take too much damage, I think. If I'm vulnerable and he hits me with that 10... Uh, do I have any potions to help? No, I don't really want to use a potion. Well, I should use one of them. I'll probably get a refill on a potion after this. Um... I don't have any armor things for this one. What's in my discard pile? 
angers and armaments. Sad whirlwind. I know! It feels bad, but you gotta think with your head, not your act, your sword sometimes. Um... If I did do... 48 damage... Subtracted 44, 34... It would be down to like 30 health. If I used the jacks first... Then it would be 11 times 6, 66. 62, 52. Sixty-two, fifty-two. Uh, so it would be down to like twelve health. And if I used my liquid memories, take out the anger, I could kill it. And so I would win this turn at the cost of three health? I think that sounds good, right? Yeah, let's try it. We do that, and then we do this. And it's at 12, and I do this, and take out Anger, and Anger, and we cast it, and cast it again. Okay. We did not get a refill on the potion, but we do... Don't need a second combust. Um, Amal Strike or Flex Plus. I don't know, Flex Plus could be good. Almost Strike. Deal 10 damage. Draw 2 cards. <sighs> I think Flex. I'm tempted for the Flex. Proceed. A mystery? We meet again! A cheery, disheveled fellow approaches you gleefully. You do not know this man. It's me, Ranwid. Have any goods for me today? The usual? A fellow like me can't make it alone, you know. You eye him suspiciously and consider your options. I could lose the colorless potion and obtain a relic. Lose 68 gold and obtain a relic, or lose a card and obtain a relic. Uh... I think I'd rather lose the gold? I don't have a merchant to spend it on right away anyway. But he says any goods for me today. Gold isn't goods. Um... Let's... What's this do again? Two... No, I don't... I, I want to have that. So let's lose the gold. Magnificent! This will be quite handy if I run into those mask-wearing hoodlums again. He rummages around his various pockets. Here, look what I've got for you today. Take it, take it. Uh, what is it? 
The Mercury Hourglass. At the start of your turn, deal three damage to all enemies. Okay. That, uh, pairs well with my combustion, I guess. Okay, and we are... Resting, I think. Because most cards in my deck are honestly already upgraded. I mean, upgrading Rupture or Demon Form would be cool. But when we're at 75% health, I think it's better. And yeah, I should rest. With all the HP loss stuff I have. Okay, time for the Act 2 boss. A knight with 420 health, blaze it. Okay, uh, yes, I would like to rupture right away. And now we can use this and it'll go twice. So it's weak and vulnerable for many turns. And let's got to go. Good luck with your slaying. Thank you, 99% Sneaky. Uh, nice of you to stop by and chat. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Okay, let's strike twice. And end turn. Now, um, let's do the battle trance. Oh, -ho. we get the flex. And three. So Rampage, an Iron Wave. Rampage, is there anything? Yeah, if, if I'm going to use Body Slam, I should use it for the end. Otherwise, the order here does not matter. So let's Rampage. And anger and iron wave. And now thirteen attack. He is intending to use a buff. Um so I think I can go all in. That'll do 9 damage, but let's use this for 13. And end the turn. What have we got? We've got the Combust Power. Ooh! Demon Form. Ah. Uh... Hmm. But... No. I don't think we can deem form right now. But what we can do... is upgrade... Well, we could upgrade demon form for later. Or we combust. So let's combust. Okay. 
So right now... We have all that block. We're gonna block his entire attack. Let's watch our... Attack. Okay, yes. Combust did trigger the rupture. Nice. Ooh, here's Whirlwind. And also Jax. <laughs> okay, you ready for this Whirlwind? Oh, but if I... No, it's already upgraded. So armaments won't improve it. But... Okay, if I... I'm definitely using Jax. If I Hemo and then Whirlwind, that will deal 20. And then this, my, my, um, I'll gain a strength. So I'll have six strength and that will become 14 two times rather than 13 three times. No, I think. Oh, but plus the 20. So. 14. And he's vulnerable, so it gets multiplied by two. Oh, but then it's also six and four. Uh, yeah. It's probably better the whirlwind straight. Because the extra times is definitely going to be more than 20. Yeah. Here we go. Gotcha. And end turn. Come at me! Okay. What have we got? We've got Rage. And we've got Anger and Strikes. Um... Should I use the Colorless Potion? We're kind of doing well. I don't know if I... Well, this will be the last... What's what's he doing next? He's going to use a buff. Let's save it. Let's end the turn here. You've done it now. Plus six strength. 27 times 2. Okay. Um. I can gain 4 strength. Let's try and kill him this turn. If I do this, gain energy. We get all that. We can ah, I just don't have any attacks. Well, we'll be able to defend, I guess. Um, let's use this upgrade anger. And then we can flex, and we can rage, and we can anger, and then we can sixty. Ah, now let's. Oh, and then we use dexterity. So now, we defend, 
We defend. We defend. And you're not breaking through this. Um. And turn. Okay, and now I've got the Whirlwind. And also other stuff. Yep, you're dying this turn. Hello, OVC, welcome! Let's frick him up. We can use... Anger. And this should do it. Ta-da! Add a card. Impervious plus for the block. Juggernaut. Whenever you gain block it Ooh, I do like that. I do like Juggernaut. Um Oh, but this heals health. Ah, uh, but it exhausts. It's just a one time thing. Um That's going to be tricky to use. This. At the start of your turn. Taking more damage. Getting extra cards and building my strength faster. Or... Dealing more damage. I think... Hmm... The last card sounds like there would be no detriments true uh but it's it's a bit it costs two which in terms of the tempo it's a bit expensive for a power it pairs well with raging where every attack i use gives me block ah uh, this one, I'm getting more strength and more cards. But that depends on me having Rupture already. If I... If I already have Rupture... Five damage to a random enemy whenever you gain block. Um, five extra damage versus gaining strength and having an extra card. I think I want to go with brutality. It's riskier. But I think it pairs well with the rest of my deck. Okay. Proceed. And here, the Runic Pyramid. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. Or gain energy at the start of your turn, but all enemies start combat with one strength. Or empty cage. Upon pickup, remove two cards from your deck. No, I, I don't want to remove stuff. Do I want to keep my hand? Or do I want to have more energy every turn? But things get a little tougher. I think I'm going to go for the riskier play. Gain, gaining energy at the start of your turn. So I have four. And then stuff like Whirlwind can do even more damage. 
I just have to uh, watch out for the strength. That'll go away. Uh, that's just for the first turn. I think it's definitely worth it. Philosopher's Stone, let's go. Proceed. Okay, uh, let me check something real quick. We have moved on to Act 3. What was it called? I missed it. Oh well. Um, let me check what I'm checking. Yeah. I think I can keep going a little longer. Let me continue... make sure... Okay, yep. Let's go. So, we've reached Act 3. What have we got? We've got enemies and mysteries, mostly, until some elites. On the left, you get some rest. On the right, no rest till there. Um... I think the far left side looks pretty tempting. Or no, that middle one? Three enemies and mystery. Rest, mystery, elite, chest. Mystery, enemy, merchant. Enemy, enemy. Uh... Otherwise... Mystery enemy, mystery enemy... Yeah! I, I get a lot out of rests, so I think I want to go on the left side where there's more of them. I do want to get the elite. Um... That way, you get a rest right after, but this, this way you get one, two, well if you go left, you never see the merchant. So I think we want to go up this second from the left one. Enemy, mystery, enemy, enemy, rest, mystery, elite, chest, mystery, enemy, merchant, enemy, enemy, rest. I think that sounds good. Okay. Let's... Um... Let's rupture right at the start. They're all... strong. So it would behoove me to... Oh, but I just ruptured, so I can... do the offering as well. Um, let's do that. Let's see what our options are. So now, I can rage, and I can anger you deal damage back. You explode in three turns, and you the repulsor. 
don't seem to have anything like that. Uh, you just do a lot of damage presently, so I think I'm going to go for you. Um... So yes, anger on you, and well, no, I do. I I have enough energy to do all these things. Okay, and defend. And body slam you. Oh, that went down quick. And turn. Oh, you increased your thorns. Aren't you a pain in the butt? Um. Let's battle trance. And nine times four, but really it's nine times eight. That'll kill it. Uh, but will it deal five damage back every time it's hit or just the one time it's attacked? Let's find out. Every time it's hit. Okay. That was not a smart move. That's okay. We will recover. Um, cleave? I could use a cleave. Or, we could get Thunderclap Plus, which is almost as good, but even a little better. Next fight, here we go. Life Link! Okay, so they share health pools or something? If other enemies are still alive... Oh! It's like the freaking core hounds in uh, Molten Core. They relight each other if they're next to each other's dead bodies. So I gotta kill them around the same time. Let's battle trance. Let's rupture. Let's uppercut the one attacking me. And then Um, Iron Wave, a different one, to gain some block, and anger it as well. Okay. Blocked it. That. Okay. Here we can make an offering. Because we already ruptured. This will be a good finisher. <laughs> Wait, I have six energy. <laughs> if I did this nine times six, but it'd be really nine times twelve. Uh, yeah, 
I think that should finish them all off. Especially if I flex first. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it's time for you all to die now. Okay. Colonel Blade, ghostly armor. Gain 13 block. Um, but if I don't use it at that time, it gets removed from my deck. Um, 13 block or 11 block and draw a card. And this, two damage four times. No, I don't care about that. Uh, let's just shrug it off, I think. Okay, mystery. And it's combat. Okay, you are all vulnerable. You all intend to attack me for quite a bit of damage. Let's... Rage. Let's... Combust. I can do pretty much everything in my hand. Not that it'll do me much good. Um, I think this is a case where I might want to use the colorless potion. At the start of your turn, play the top card of your draw pile. Upgrade all your cards for the rest of combat. Or put three random attacks into your hand. Um, I think I want violence, but this was extremely powerful. Those are all very good cards. I wish I had waited, uh, instead of using it on this, but I was scared of all the damage coming my way. Damage is damage, regardless of where it comes from. Let's try and stop it. I choose violence. Oh, and I got two of it. Okay, so there, and let's do it again. Okay, um, so what have we got? We've got anger, and we could do a whirlwind. Um, whirlwind eight. And it'd be times six, so 48 damage to everybody. Let's let them have it. Yeah, you're, you're gone. Oh, because they were also vulnerable, so it did twice as much. Play the, to play the top six cards of your draw pile. Oh my god, that's going to be incredible. Add a card to your deck. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw a card. Or... Another battle trance. Or some more cards I already have. Um... I don't think I want more than one battle trance. How many exhausting do I have? One... I only have one card that gets exhausted, and it's the Offering. So I don't think I really want this. Um, so Iron Wave or Cleave? Uh, I think I'd rather have Cleave, since I already have two Iron Waves. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, the block is always nice. Now, let's do Cleave. 
proceed. Up next... We've got two more enemies, and then a rest. Hello. You are a spire growth. We're gonna do 17 attack, but you're vulnerable. No other information. Um, but we can hit you with all of this. First, we bash you, make you even more vulnerable. And we get angry, and we strike you twice. And then I guess I'm just gonna have to take your hit. Which is a shame, but that's the way it goes. Okay, but here... Um, 8 damage, 4 times 30... Well, 8 times, really. So 64. Uh, but it's vulnerable, so it'll actually be 128. I think the Whirlwind should finish it. Oh, plus it's 12 damage instead of 8. 12, 8 times. Yeah. Oh, it didn't finish it. Shoot. Well. Oh well. Probably would have gone with that anyway. Let's end the turn. Take our lumps. And now we flex. And finish. Okay, we've got a strength potion. Game for strength. Oh, is that permanent? No, it's probably just for the combat, right? But it doesn't say you lose... It's definitely not for a single turn, but maybe it's only for a single combat? Add a card. Whenever a card is exhausted, gain four block. Iron Wave plus. Um... I think I'm just going to take the Iron Wave Plus. Yep. Okay, more combat. Here we go. We got this. These guys. Okay. Let's... Okay, so this guy is doing negative on me. That guy's buffing himself with more thorns. He's attacking. He's attacking. Let's... I remember him being pretty fragile. I keep thinking it's playing the Incredibles music with the bit that goes da 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 da. Um. Let's. Oh. Yeah, let's just try and take away some of the damage that will happen next turn. Deal 9 damage. Do I? Uh, 
Um. Oh, I should. I mean, these thorn guys. I'm low on health. I think it's this fight's gonna be a little bit of a pain. Let's have some distilled chaos. Okay. That did things. Um, I do want to thunderclap. Uh... Yeah, let's do this. And this. And end turn. They get more thorns. I do that. Okay. And here... Yeah, so let's... Shrug it off. But I don't take damage. And then if I did this... On them... Eight... Six times... That should kill them both. Okay. Uh, perfected strike. Another brutality, another battle trance, another thunderclap. I don't think I want any of these. Is this the first time I'm not going to take a card? Um... I suppose I could t Yeah, actually, Perfected Strike might not be that bad. It do It will do, like, 20 damage, and even more with higher strength. Let's take that. Okay, but now we're going to the rest spot. And we are resting. And we're nearly at full again. Very nice. Now a mystery. As you head upwards, hopping from one floating shape to another, you slip. You begin to fall. While in free fall, you consider your options. Land safely with your greatest techniques. Channel a power to survive the fall or strike at the wall to hang on to it. Do I lose rage? Do I lose combust? Or do I lose iron wave plus? If I look at my deck, how many rage? I'm de I definitely don't want to lose combust, I think. I only have the single rage. I don't want to lose rage either. So I think I'm going to lose my Iron Wave Plus, and I'll still have that Iron Wave and that Iron Wave. Yeah. You are able to latch onto the wall and manage to make a short hop onto another stable platform. Damn! I guess I have been pretty lucky. That was the first just outwardly bad unknown. Okay, now it's time for an elite. Oh, 
What you got? Uh, well, you are slow. Whenever you play a card, whenever I play a card, the giant head receives 10% more attack from damage this turn. Oh, well, so it, it wants me to combo, but if I do this, it's already going to be 12 damage 12 times. So I think that's all I need. No? Why did that... How is that not enough damage? 12 times 12? Well, I guess that's only 144. It does have a lot of health. Okay, next turn. I'm bad at math. Oh. I don't like that counting. Oh, but here. I've got both Rage and Rage and Anger. Strike. Take even more damage. But now I'm out of cards. But, got a lot of armor that time. Okay. Um. Yes, yeah, so let's have more cards. Do more damage. Do more damage. And a big attack. Not that big. Oh, dear. Am I going to finish this in time? Here's some damages, yes. I... Rupture... And I offer... And I... Jax... And I... Battle Trance, and I shrug it off, no, at this point, five, let's see, two, And then go full on damage. Oh, and it'd be. Whenever you play a card, he receives 10% more damage from attacks. Right now he's receiving 40% more damage. If I save the uppercut, well, it's hard to say. Because you get the vulnerable. If it's vulnerable, then it's receiving 50% more. Yeah. Let's do that. And then... If I... Strike, that's 33. Strike, yeah. Strike, and cleave. And 
and strike. There we go. A pair! Upon pickup raises your max HP by 10. Alright. In flame, gain 2 strength. Deal 14 damage and apply 3 weak. Do like that. Flame barrier. 16 block. Whenever you are attacked this turn, deal 6 damage back. Or gain 5 block. Upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of combat. I like all of these. Oh man. I don't know. If I... 5 block... I mean, most of my cards are already upgraded, except for some of the special ones. Eh, like half. Um, 16 block, 6 damage back. Whenever you're attacked. That's pretty cool. I don't think I need... Out of all of them... I already get strength elsewhere... Well... I mean, two strength for just one cost. Permanent. That's pretty good. That'll really affect everything else. Ah... Uh, 14 damage. Three weak is nice. Also, but let's go for strength. What do we get? Kunai, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain a dex. Okay. Proceed. And we have to go this way. Mystery. Before you is a sight that seems out of place in the alien landscape around you. Strangely placed into one of the living walls of the beyond is an enclosed stone entrance filled with a swirling magical portal. You aren't sure where it leads, but maybe it could speed your journey through the spire. Immediately travel to the boss? I don't know. We're not ready for that. Let's leave. Careful and cautious seems the better approach for reaching the top of the spire. Ignoring the portal, you continue on. Okay. And now we're going to go right. So we stop by the merchant. But first, an enemy. Oh, these guys. Boy, these fights are getting harder. Combining those. Let's, um... Let's get... Um... Which one do I want to upgrade? Hemokinesis? What happens if I upgrade... Brutality. Innate. At the start of your turn... What does innate mean? Does it mean I never... I play it once and then it never again? And then it's just always something? Um... Or is this? Deal 20 damage. Seven blocks, seven damage. Um...
Let's... Let's try it out. Let's rage. Let's get brutal. Let's iron wave. Oh, well, the spiky guys aren't here, so that's nice at least. Um, let's do that for you. And then... That should kill you. Then I lose two instead of... Well, I probably won't lose health this turn, but... There you go. Oh, I'm dazed. Okay. Got Whirlwind. Uh, but first, let's battle Trance. And... Rage. And... Anger on you. Oh, do you have that negates debuffs? I feel like I just lost armor and I don't know why. Um, but this will do eight. Damage, eight times of so sixty-four. Do I shrug it off first, and then do eight damage six times? Ah. Uh, Yeah. I won't I, I won't be able to kill it this turn, so better to not take any damage. Okay. And turn. I'm blocked, I'm still frail, but now 22 damage to kill it. Um, and we've got enough here without even having to sacrifice anything. Let's do this. Upgrade. Wait, if I do this. Upgrade. No, okay, so that doesn't make it innate. Okay. So never mind. Let's upgrade this. And use it. Ancient potion. Close line, another flex. Or a perfected strike plus. Um, I do like flex. Let's But if I do this, it'll be even more damage. Ah, but it's still... Now let's go for the flex. And at the shop, what you got? Hello, Reaper. Uh, fiend fire exhausts your hand. Game block, exhaust. This, exhaust one card to draw three cards. That is kind of neat. Oh, but in flame. 
I do like that. Down here, two weak to all enemies. Shuffle five random skills into your draw pile, and they cost to zero this combat. That's kind of neat. While your HP is at or below 50%, you have three additional strength. I've got to get that. And whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck. Upon pickup, obtain an additional copy of a card in your deck. 10 regen. Oh! But that's only for one combat. Um, Escape from not on boss. This turn, your next two cards are played twice. That's useful. Um, I definitely want the red skull. And then, we can't get the chrysalis anymore, that's okay. Um, I think I want to get in flame. Do I want the dream catcher more? Not really. an additional copy. No. Cation potion would be cool. But it's awfully expensive for a one-time use. Um. Now let's get in flame. Let's get Burning Pact. Ah, oh, but it, it does cost one. Could be helpful, could not be helpful. But it's cheap. But would I rather have this? Um, exhaust the card. Draw three cards. Oh, let's see. Thirty nine, seventy four. That will become 83... 113? Oh, I have just enough to get both, I think. Yes. Let's do that. Alright. And proceed. Next up. Two enemies, then the break, then the boss. Okay, we have Inflame already, so let's do that. We... want to kill these guys around the same time. Let's do this. See what we get. Rupture. Sounds good. Now we can upgrade Hemokinesis.
that. So that would be five more damage. And if we do this... Oh, but that's going to be even more bonus damage. Let's do that. Um... So let's do this on one of them. Maybe this one. And then this on this one will kill it, I think. Yep. And turn. So I have to kill the others fast. Okay. Um, here we get stronger. We can kill. Again, and and turn. Ah, oh, they come back that quickly. So not the next turn, but the turn after. Well, it's still fine. Um, we can rage. We can bash. You, well, 29 versus 28. Oh, but you're doing more damage. Let's kill you before you do that. Okay, now we gotta kill these next two on this next turn. Or else it's coming back. We're blocking the damage. Chipping away. We can... Gain strength. We can thunderclap. You all. And then strike you. There we go. Combust plus headbutt plus. Uh or another flex. Well. I don't know. Deal 12 damage. I... At the end of this turn, lose the strength. I'm... I think I'm between flex and headbutt. Just depending on whether it's better to have more attacks or more of the... I've already got two flexes. I don't want to have too few attacks to use the strength I'm getting. So let's go for the headbutt. Next enemy. You've already got too many subscription services. You don't have Headbutt Plus. Oh. Feels like I'm getting a Headbutt from the way they... Uh... All piled up. So much for having all your media in one place. For one low, low price. 
Okay, let's... Rage. Let's... Uh... Do we risk the Whirlwind? 64 damage. It should... I mean, it should kill everybody. It's just a matter of all the damage I'll take for it. And... Well, maybe it can't be helped. Here we go. Oh! We get a free duplication potion. Uh... But we have to discard something. Let's... Get rid of the artifact one, I guess. Shucks. Okay, armaments. Game 5 block. Upgrade all hands. Another headbutt plus. <sighs> do I need more block or do I need more attacks? I already got two armaments. Armaments Plus is very good. Let's do Armaments Plus. Okay, now we rest. I'm going to actually rest. Nearly at full. Act 3 boss. Hello! The crows and their crow god. What are you? Cultists and the awakened one? He is unawakened. This enemy hasn't awakened yet. Curiosity. Whenever you play a power card, it gains one strength. Oh, shit. They're both gonna buff. He hasn't awakened yet, and yet he still intends to attack for 21 damage? Okay. Um... Well, nothing in this first hand. Let's gain force strength right away. And then... Waste of all my energy. Uh, let's upgrade, I guess, one of the Angers. That's what we gotta do. Um... At the end of its turn, it re heals 10 HP. I... wonder whether to go all in on the big one. I think I should focus the big one. So, we attack. Block. No! Ah, oh, shoot. There. And then turn. Man. Okay, here we've got armaments for, uh, so I think I won't use the iron wave. 
so we use armaments and then 28 plus three more for all my strike cards or uppercut no yeah I should do uppercut first for the weak and vulnerable oh but first I should use flex silly me Uppercut you. And there. Next two cards get played twice. Not that turn. That's a big chunk. There goes my plated armor, too. Okay. I'm feeling the pain of the big deck. I'm not getting the cards I need. We can gain more strength. We aren't able to upgrade anything else. Um, maybe I should try and kill these cultists. Oh, they're gaining strength every time. I absolutely should be killing the cultists. Ah, oh, jeez. Next time I get an AoE attack, let's duplicate it. Okay. Um. Bunch of things to. this. Can powers stack? I don't know. I think this is going to go poorly. Um... We Yeah, he's gaining strength. But I will gain strength faster. Let's see how this goes. Sure hope I get a really good hand next time. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Never mind. Good old math. Oh well. No, unlocked cards show up in future runs. I unlocked new cards. Neat. Damage, strength affects the card three times. That would have paired well with my deck. Spot weakness. If the enemy intends to attack, gain three strength. Pretty cool too. Limit break. Doubles your strength. Oh well. Came so far. Now if we look at it 
four unlocks remaining. Okay, so the unlock I got at 300 was those new cards that I just got. A set of three new cards. And you get more new cards each time you reach a landmark. I gotcha. Well, that's it for today, Skellywags. I hope you enjoyed it. I am intrigued. Oh, I... I think we... W I, th I, I mean, it's very hard to tell with how much RNG there is in some of these games. How much of your doing well can be attributed to your own skill versus how much was you uh, at getting the benefit of the situation. But I think getting to the third act boss is something. And maybe I will keep unlocking... I'll, I'll play the silent next time we play on screen. This definitely seems like a game I will want to just play in my off time too, though. Uh... We'll see. I don't want to put... Because I don't want to, like, beat it for the first time off stream. That would be a shame. But when there's stuff like, oh, well, you know, failed attempts, giving me more points to get more cards to be stronger, that's the kind of thing where, oh, well, I'd like to fail a couple times off stream, save some time, and uh, show up stronger next time. So we'll see. Anyway. Uh, cool. Very cool. Very much enjoying this game. And I will play more of it. Uh, will I play tomorrow? I think I can play tomorrow. We'll definitely not go as long as today, but I think I can play tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, Skellywags. Um, that is all. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Is there anyone to raid? No? Okay. Then let's call it Bone Voyage. <laughs>